What's up everyone? I'm Tony and I am going to be unboxing Screencastify. Yes, that Screencastify, the free recording and editing tool that you can add to your Chrome browser. You do need to use it with a Google account and it will save and export to your Google Drive. Let's rip into it. The Screencastify editor has several features. This box is more full than I thought it would be. Oh, so what's this? Oh, this is the Screencastify icon. Ooh, what color would you say this is? It's white and mm, salmon, perhaps? I see a camera icon, and I, I also see a play button and an arrow. The icon has three different things all in one. That's super clever. Oh, here we have an open in editor button. Uh, that's really handy. You click this after recording with Screencastify. It takes a moment and then you can see where you can preview your video. You also see editing tools. The timeline is along the bottom and you can move the playhead to preview parts of your video. Oh, what else? What else is in here? Oh, we have a zoom slider. This is used to expand the view of the clip. It's handy for when you need to add and edit at precisely the right spot. Oh, what else? Ah, a sharp pair of scissors. Those will be useful. It's the first tool in the toolbar and you can cut clips in the timeline. You can make two cuts and then delete a mistake. You can cut and then reorder clips. Oh, what do we have here? Ah, uh, it's a crop button. Clicking this gives you a box you can adjust in the preview window. The area outside the rectangle will be removed from the clip. This is handy for getting rid of clutter that your audience doesn't need to see. Ah, and what's this? It's a zoom button. Ah, it's lovely. Zoom will enlarge a portion of a clip. You can input a transition speed so that the zooming in and out takes longer. You can drag the green indicator to change how long the zoom lasts in your timeline. Oh, here, here we have, it's a blur button. It allows you to blur a part of a clip. You can use this to keep people anonymous or to hide sensitive information in screen recordings. This text button allows me to add text for labels in my video. I can drag this salmon colored bubble to time when the text is on the screen. Oh, and there is, there's a delete button. I usually use the delete key or backspace key on my keyboard to delete clips, but Screencastify includes a delete button in case you need it. Oh, and here's the, the add media button. This button is important. I can use this button to add title clips and to upload video clips I've already recorded. Well, this is in the box too. Screencastify is free, but with the limitation that your end product is no longer than five minutes. Think of this as a way to stay brief or pay Screencastify and remove this limitation. Down here in the box, we have an export button. When you're done editing, click this to export as a video file that others can view. You can save an MP4 file to your desktop or right into your Google Drive. Well, that's all in the Screencastify editor box. It's pretty cool that we get all this stuff for free. Take care, and I'll see you next time.